My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm going to murder some French and I am reviewing Louveton. And it means in English the immensity. The notes are grapefruit, ginger, bergamot. The middle notes are water notes, sage, rosemary, and geranium. And the base notes are embroxin, amber, and labdomen. Fantastic. Do we have a balls of are we engaged with our high self? Let's get testing. So I thought I'd unwrap this to show the presentation. So the allergens and all the information that we need is on the outside of the box, which is all perfect. And for Louis Vuitton, we can expect really fantastic presentation. If it didn't, being a prestige brand, it'd be, it'd be a bit surprising. So this is 235 pounds for 100 mil. So I've been asked to show the atomizer in spring, so I'm gonna do that in the future presentations. So the atomizer, nice and wide, nothing particularly over the top and high pressurized, but very nice. So what am I expecting? I'm expecting something modern, up to date, utilizing aroma chemicals and naturals, smelling eloquent. The demographic I'm imagining youthful, because the name immensity sort of sounds like it'd be it for a younger demographic. This reminds me of pretty much everything, everything that's blue. It reminds me quite a lot of Office for Men. There's a sort of a similarity there. The similarity with Sauvage, light blue, all of those sort of fragrances are sort of within this. And I think that's very, very important. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having a fragrance that's like that because they're instantly likable and they're instantly wearable. It smells super balanced and all the notes are singing perfectly. So this is based upon Ice Food Super and you would want Ice Food Super as the base of this because you want a ambery woody backbone. You want something substantial, masculine, long lasting and airy. Absolutely contains Lily of the Valley raw materials, Ambroxin, beta ionones, acetates, ethyl linalol, linalol, that's kind of what you're getting light and airy combination of the patchouli, vertiver, wood-like leathery compounds are giving this a sort of masculine finish. Ginger is really nice in this. I've just used ginger in my um, summer fragrance supernova and it's really nice to work with and there are different types of ginger. I went for West African and that tends to be a lot of finer smelling but there are um, gingers which are heavier, more heavy duty and the cheaper end of the spectrum sort of smell not so refined and they actually look different in the viscosity. So when you compare sort of the, I would consider the, the top end ginger to the sort of more budget ginger, there is a difference in how the thickness and flow and there's a difference in how it sort of smells as well. Ginger is, is a nice alternative to pink pepper and elm leaf, which is sort of a go-to to support citruses. On to my final thoughts. I think it smells very nice. I think it smells very, very easy to wear. Very inoffensive. It's not particularly musk heavy. They're using musk, which are similar to sort of nitro musk to give it sort of like a soft human feel to it. This smells very human. That musk, I think it's romanolide. It has lots of different names depending on where you get it from. And romanolide is solid at room temperature. It's a powder. Apparently I was reading it is the finest musk that's available. I don't know how I feel about that because I like combinations of musk. But I think this smells very linear. So I'll go through my thought processes and I'm gonna go give it my final mark. I do like it, I'm gonna put that out there. So the box is safe, legal, compliant. Everything is there that, that you want. I think, it's, I think it's great, shows that the company is super professional. That's kind of what you want. I like the presentation. I think the presentation is great. I think it looks like the rest of the bottles. I love the little magnetic cap, I kind of, like everything about it. Do I like it? Um, I kind of would like it a little bit more punchy. I kind of, for the price, it's like 115. I would like it with a little bit more attitude, a little bit more aggression. It smells very nice. It smells very inoffensive. The more I'm smelling it, the more I think it sort of smells 30 up. It doesn't really smell particularly blue and youthful. The occasion, I think this is an occasion that's suitable for all men, all occasions, even though I said 30 up, I think it's suitable for all men. I think it smells very classy. I think it's suitable for office settings, or I think it'd be suitable for just when you want to smell nice and fresh and clean. 
I think it's been created expertly. So I'm going to put that out there. But for me personally, it hasn't got that sort of lasting power. It hasn't got that. On some people, it probably has, but on me, for 115, I'd like more monstrous projection. But it smells very nice. I love the ginger with the citruses, with the vitamin B chili. It's really, really nice. I'm going to mark it an 8 out of 10. I just, the two marks are simply because it's not something that I would reach for. It doesn't have enough punch to it. How I'd love to see this sort of improved is with some of the ambers that are used within, I'm thinking of the date for men for eating, because it's not the same, but there's sort of some similarities there. And the date for men for eating has this monstrous projection and great sea arch, but it smelt too sort of like artificial smelling. It's sort of, there was too many aroma chemicals and not enough naturals. And what I'd love to do is sort of see, take the bit of date for men that give it that sort of explosive sort of light projection and then combine it with sort of how this smells incredibly natural and eloquent, but it does smell French, if that kind of makes sense. And if it had that, that sort of like, you know, real like, oh my gosh, that's really strong and smells sort of a little bit more aggressive. I think I'd mark it much like nine or 10, but I do really like it. It's very natural smelling, very nice smelling. So love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope staying safe and well. See you soon.